Hey, what's up guys? Ethan here with Freebird Woodworking and I'm about to get started on a project. Um, it's going to be a farm table. Um, it's going to be around, let's see, 48 by 36 by 30. That's the dimensions. And um, <clears throat> I'm about to get started uh, making the tabletop. Um, I got the, the lumber ready. I got some one by sixes um, by six foot tall. You can see this board here is about the same height, a little bit taller than me. And I got two of those and I got some one by 12. Um, also two of those six inches. I'm going to use dowels um, to interlock the boards and you'll see uh, what I mean by that whenever I uh, get started in that and get it laid out but I'm gonna get the holes um, drilled out get the dowel set put, slap some glue on there see they stick right on there just like that now whenever I clamp pieces together like this tabletop that I'm about to clamp up, the metal doesn't scrape or gnarl the wood. And it's just a little tip I wanted to share to you guys. And um, it's gonna make your, your pieces that much better. Any little thing you can do. All right guys, so I got the table lined up the way that I wanted it. I have the one by sixes, both on the outside, and then the one by twelves are gonna be the two pieces in the middle. Um, because that's how long that I want this table to be. Uh, and I have went through with my tape measure and I have this little square that I use often. Should pick up one of these if you don't have one already. Um, but it makes it easy to put it on the edge here. It makes a perfect square and then you can scribe the line you want uh, for the measure. Make these little kits, well, you're gonna need a drill, first of all, but they make these little kits that you can buy um, that have the drill bits and some dowels with them. Like I said, these little dowels, they come pre-made. I'm gonna use the 3 8 size dowels. You can get them in 5 16 or you can get them in, what is the other one? I believe it's uh, a quarter, yeah. You can get them in a quarter. That's these little guys right here. I don't use these too often. Um, these little guys, at least I haven't yet. Um, but I'm gonna use the, the biggest ones that I have at the moment, which is these 3 8 So for your drill, you're gonna need uh, a drill bit, a wood drill bit to be specific. Um, they come with these little tips on the end. So we got the glue applied thoroughly. I've taken a paintbrush and as I applied the glue, I take the paintbrush and I run through, spread out the glue nice and thoroughly across the whole length of both sides of the boards and I put glue down in each one of these holes if you can see that. That way, whenever the dowels connect, they have a nice, firm joint. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these glued up and uh, see what it looks like. 